Okay, so my Twitter is going nuts now. Um, I am right now going back to Walmart uh, because I found something very special, which you guys will see in a little bit once I walk in and grab it and buy it. But yeah, my Twitter is going nuts about it because apparently I, I must be like one of the first people to get, find it and now I'm gonna buy it. So I hope this is worth the money getting, but I mean, I guess we'll see how it looks. Twitter made me do it. Twitter made me do it. Twitter made me do it. Twitter did it. So I got it. Here it is. I honestly would not be surprised if Funkos came out uh, August first. This stuff was supposed to come out is supposed to come out officially August first, I believe. So and I'm having trouble back now. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised. But we are gonna go home, open it up, see what the details are on the box. Uh, see if there's anything special about plot um i don't think they'll get anything out about plot with merchandise coming out this early especially since trailer's not even out yet and i somehow managed to get merchandise before the trailer even gets out so yeah that's kind of weird um but yeah hopefully they release the legends because man I my wallet is going to be empty by the end of August because of the Galactus HasLab and then also the, uh, the Spider-Man. Uh, I, I believe there's supposed to be another what if, Disney Plus series uh, wave coming out with the What If and then Sylvie coming out. Um, I saw something that looked like a leak, which may be true. I'll do a video on that sometime soon, but let's get home and open this bad boy up and see what it's about. All right. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, I'm back with the right thing this time. So, a little bit of craziness happened today. Um, so, I went to Walmart doing what I usually do, toy hunt. There's all my Funkos up there if you wanna see. I tend to actually just go buy Marvel Legends, um, but I couldn't help noticing the. F so I saw this, I was like, okay, it's a regular mask. Nope. I saw the first thing I saw was this, the logo, how different it looked from all the other Spider-Man logos. And then I looked to the corner, I see the new suit. I kind of went crazy. I was like, there's no way that they just put this out here. So, and then I turned it around, took a video because I'm, I talk to an MCU collector every once in a while. Um, and a few other collectors like Sergio, the collector, um, Carnage is the kid is awesome. Uh, but yeah, so here is a quick look around the box here. So here's a new look of Spider-Man. So using different pose, you get all that gold looking Spider Spider. Uh, logo there with it all shiny and then you also get like him with that new suit look too so you get some red detailing around the rib cage area and you get the like that upgraded suit look still uh, the mask didn't change really um, you get the black for the blue areas from where you would usually have it let's see if I can get away from the reflection there there we go that's better um, and then you get that Spider-Man logo here. You get the other logo here with the face. And you get some gold detailing around there. Um, it does not say No Way Home on here, but uh, I think it's some weird marketing technique that Marvel does because they're in charge of all the uh, products and stuff for Spider-Man. And then uh, Sony gets all the money from movies, I believe, from what I heard. Um, so, Marvel, they've done this before with the Avengers Endgame toys, where some of the figures, uh, the toys don't have Avengers Endgame written on there. It just says Avengers. Someone in Twitter uh, mentioned this 
Um, so here's like a screenshot of that. Um, so yeah, that was a very good point um, because some people were worried that, oh, is this really from Spider-Man New Way Home? Um, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, although I don't think the eyes will glow like that in a movie. Um, but from seeing in the box here, so here's the other side of the toy here. So yeah, you get that mask there with some gold eyes with some detailing in the eyes. And you get this like arrow that shows a switch going up and down in the light bulb. And then you get that logo there again with some gold detailing around it. And then, um, and then here's from, from that same look that we've seen with the other Spider-Man uh, leaks from like the Legos. You got a picture of him standing straight up. You get the Hasbro logo there. And then Spider-Man, Marvel Studios, Spider-Man uh, logo there. Still doesn't say No Way Home. Um, and then it says Glow FX uh, Mask. And then uh, the same thing in different languages for you. Um, and then here's the back side here for you. So yeah, you get that same picture there uh, with that arrow going up and down. So I'm going to Weber um, and then the light bulb. And then here I forgot what it said. Glow FX mask, same thing. You get the same logo up here. Um, and then you get this little diagram here in the green arrows where it shows uh, eyes glow in different languages. And um, the green's kind of a little off-putting, so I don't know if that's, I really don't think it's part of anything that says anything about the movie at all. I just think it's a little off-putting to put that in the box, especially when the whole thing is either gold, black, red. So, I don't know. I think that was a little off-putting with the green there, but I guess it's supposed to show power. Um, but yeah, you get all the warning signs here. Here's the bomb with that DCPI code there if it wants to get away from that reflection. There you go. And then, yeah. So, there wasn't, it does not tell you anything about the plot owl. It's just a cool little toy for kids to have. There was two. I was thinking about getting one. So, that way it's unopened. But, uh, yeah. So, let's open this guy up carefully. Okay, we got uh, open. All right. So here it is, um, and let's see, there we go, that looks good. But let's take it off my head and take a closer look here. So yeah, here is the mask up close. So um, it looks really cool in the camera. I love the red that they use here and the texturing that they used on the sculpt of the mask here itself is really nice. It kind of looks like fabric. Uh, in camera, you could definitely tell it's plastic, uh, though. But what they did with the what's cool with the lenses and the webs, I don't know if they did this with the other uh, masks before, but it's like rubber webbed, and then the lenses are too. I really like how the lenses look too. It's really cool. Um, and then you get these little vents to breathe a little bit easier. Um, and then you get these straps here in the back, so you get the little adjustable piece here and then you get this piece that loops around so you can center it a little bit easier and then another adjustable piece here nothing on this side here but it just loops around and then you can definitely tell it's hollow in the mouth area but then you get this like a little area right here where it does all the lights and stuff here and you get this little uh, rubber piece for the nose to protect your nose from. You got all these warning signs here. You got all these screws around the edges here too. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not in. I'm not. I don't usually do this for a mask. I usually just do them for uh, Marvel Legend guys, which I do have a little sneak peek in the back here for my next review. But I thought since people are going nuts on Twitter for it. Um, I thought we would get a close look for it on, um, but yeah. So then you also get this little lever here. So if you push it up, boom, you get these cool transparent plastic lenses here with some detailing in there, which I think it's supposed to be like magic for the eyes. I don't think that will happen in the movie though. I mean, I do think you'll learn how to use some sort of magic, but I don't think it will be like something for the eyes. And then, 
Um, they're supposed to light up. There's lights in there. Uh, I wonder if I could just turn off the lights and they'll show up a little bit better. So if I flip it back up, there you go. Now you can see the lights a little bit better there. So yeah, they light up from the bottom here and shine up. And you get that cool little detailing in there. And it'll last for about like, um, we'll check here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 seconds. Um, but yeah, um, it does not fit my head real well because I have a massive head and I am not really in the age to use it. So I think what I'll do, I think my cousin um, will love this. Um, he will definitely enjoy it. He knows that Spider-Man's my favorite superhero. Um, I, sadly, his un uh, father passed away from cancer. So I thought this would be a cool toy to give him. Um, he, yeah, he will definitely enjoy it. The only thing that I think would be cool to add in was some sort of sound effects for this. Um, and then also this part, I don't really know what it's for. Um, you can see these lines here. I think that's where supposed to, uh, batteries are supposed to go in. I'm not quite sure. Um... I don't know. There's another loop here, too. They can just loop this through instead. Um, well, there's supposed to be screws. Uh, I really don't know what this piece is supposed to be for right here. Because there's just like a square piece. Let me turn the light so you guys can see a little better. But, yeah. I think this will be a cool little thing to get for the little ones. Um, like I said, I don't really do reviews or collect these things. But, um... I thought it'd be something cool for people to check out and see if there's anything interesting for Spider-Man No Way Home since we don't have the trailer yet. But hopefully we get this Thursday. I'm not sure. Um, and then also, like I said, don't worry. This I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be part of the movie. Not sure about the eyes pieces, though. But um, like the concept uh, pieces on the box will be in it for sure, I'm pretty sure. Um and yeah um i'm not really sure this uh this the merchandise from what i heard from someone on twitter also they said they worked in retail and the official release date is supposed to be like august 1st um but like um i'm not quite sure i really hope the august 1st is the release date for the marvel engines then i will definitely pick those up but they haven't really announced those with that wave yet for no way home so um yeah because they only showed off four figures and there's supposed to be like six figures for a build a figure or seven depending on what they're building um but yeah so there is the mask for you i can pull up the box real quick here i kind of opened it already what's cool about the box here is that the background here too if i can unreflect that you get that cool looking iron spider logo there actually with some sparkles i don't know if that's supposed to be part of the movie either kind of looks interesting i don't know like let me turn off the light here maybe you can see a little better so yeah this is kind of interesting actually so yeah you can see all those little sparkles around there i don't know I think that's supposed to be some teasing towards the movie. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. Hopefully the trailer comes out this week, though, because I am surprised I, that they put this merchandise out. But, yeah. I'll show off the box here. And then here's the code, barcode there for you. But, yeah. Um, hopefully we get the trailer, like I said um make sure you guys subscribe i do a bunch of other stuff um besides collecting i guess i i try doing uh gaming drawing uh i'm gonna try doing other stuff stop motion and so on so make sure you guys check that out i also got a link tree um in my description here uh, in the description um so check out my twitch too if you can and uh tiktok because i do post some tiktok sometimes um but besides that that's all i got so thanks for watching